Hi everyone. Hello. How are you? It's Daniela and I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to my channel. If you've not been here before and if you have been here before, welcome back. Um, I'm so happy you're here. I have a book to share. I have some dangles to share and I just wanted to start out by saying I will do the um, shout out sharing in my haul video that will be next because I don't want to confuse the people who have been um, commenting and I've been sharing their channels but I will have another video it's a tutorial I keep threatening to do this but it is a reality and if you want me to give you a shout out if you're here for my books or crafts or things non-haul related, non-shopping, then leave me a comment here and I will give you and your channel a shout out in my next craft type video, non-shopping video. So anyway, let's talk about my new things. Fourth of July just passed and I thought how fun would it be to make an Americana type journal, junk journal, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, and I just had this idea and it's awesome I think and I love it so much. So this book is a, I want to call it like a light hardcover because it's, it's bendable but it's not really soft. It has a hard spine, but it's I, I made the covers not as stiff as a hardcover journal. So um, it's nine inches tall and five and now I don't remember five and a quarter wide with a seam binding and eyelet closure. Here's the cover. I have a bunch of gold and a bunch of ephemera type bits and this pretty boat's got a butterfly and I was going to put this ticket. I'm just moving this closer for you so you can also so you can see I used this beautiful, I loved using this looped um, trim in red and blue but um, so yeah, I've got blue and red and gems and clear and lovely. I was going to put this in the middle. It's the United States Lines cabin class and it has a D, but I didn't know if, you know, my name happens to start with a D, but <laughs> that's not why it says the letter D. I didn't know if somebody would want something with the letter D, so... Um, I left the butterfly that's on here, on there, and if you want to buy this book and you want me to attach this to the front, you can let me know when you purchase it in the notes. I'm going to use a paper clip and stick it inside where I put the uh, card, the library card. So that's the cover, the spine, I have this pretty vintage wavy lace and the back is the same as the front um, and there's distress collage medium um, vintage Tim Holtz made it I got a three pack I am just a regular gel medium person but um, it had like the color to it so I used it to give it that look and this is like a cloth doily super nice so let's open this up as you can see it's very very yummy nice and big and yummy and awesome and I used a lot of lace on the edges and if it isn't lace I did a lot of paper punching to give it a look of lace like you will see there I also have to mention I, just, I keep my hands are not this color. My hands are much lighter. I don't know why my light makes them look weird. So anyway, thank you for indulging me. What's good about this kind of a cover is that the book really lays down. The covers both go just flat. 
as opposed to um, a hard cover. I don't want to bend this one because, of, you know, it's more stiff. So the book lays completely flat. And I'm not sure if this is vintage or retro. I think it's almost more re retro. Like, look how cute this fireworks graphic is. It just reminds me of being a girl in the 70s. It was a big deal. I was born in 1970 and 1776, 1976 with Bicentennial and Bomb Pops ice cream and that's just what it reminds me of. But, but now that I've said that I guess that would be considered vintage almost. So anyway, um, I put a pocket I should use this for that. I put this pocket on the front and the back cover so you can stick any yummies that you want in there. And these are all firecrackers. I'm sure you can tell. But I matched paper on the library pocket to go exactly with that. And a little bit of lace. And this is a um, the hidden spine. You don't see it on the outside. So we always start with a little triangle and all the papers that aren't pattern papers are all coffee dyed. Um, so all of them are coffee dyed and distressed or whatever else I did to them, treated them. I'm trying to keep you in frame and get moving here. So here is pockets. And have cut apart. I mean, look how cute. It's like it's so retro. I'm not going to take stuff out of all of the pockets. I don't want you to be here all week. But I use my new flag tag maker that I just got. There are, um, I don't remember, it's either 98 pages. Some I use some spray inks on and flowers and lace and ribbon and thread and all of these cute images and guest checks and music, more paper, some lined paper, washi tape, stamps, book paper, tags that I put some decorations on one side. I don't want to move in close. Sorry, I was saying that I'm afraid if I zoom in too much, I will get out of frame. Hmm. So, um, some glitter, washi tape, little um, paper clips, little paper stuffed in, more spray ink, um, stamping mm, with the Tim Holtz stamps. Um, tuck spots, paper punching to look like lace, and this is actual lace. Claim checks and maps, and more pockets, more spraying, more doilies, more pockets. I was saying, yes, um, 98, 198 to 200 plus pages. I'm not remembering the count right this minute, but it's a lot. This is a untied, this is a card. Open the little American flag, little fireworks and bows and music and stamping, guest checks, books, another little triangle, which is a six by six piece, um, glassine bag with uh, journaling cards, two in each one. That's the center. There's the bow. And the same stuff on the way back, a different paper clip, paper punching, this little silver thing opens. And you can put stuff in this pocket, and this is a pocket also. As for the, there's I think 20 pockets and just tons of inserts or tags or, I mean they're falling out, but there's a ton. How cute is this little girl? I think that this is so cute. Pinwheels and fireworks. Lots of lace. These cool octopus bridge cards and library cards. 
little tiny paper clip. Oh, see what I mean? You couldn't see the little tiny paper clip. And all of that again. It's all the same stuff. Big bang. Little pinwheels that are silver, like glitter. And I did paper punching on um, some of the inside pieces of paper again to give them a lacy look. There's just so many details in my books. If you've ever watched before or bought them before, you know that I am a stickler for attention to detail. Just showing you the center of the book. Only two signatures. Only. I've been doing two signatures. Also, if you ever bought a book from me or anything before, I always send a goodie bag with the extra pieces, the extra cut apart. See, like this, I punched to give it a, a nice detail. I always give a goodie bag with leftover pieces of the collection I use and just tags and goodies from me to you as a thank you. So it's all the same stuff. There's a little booklet. It's all the same stuff in each um, signature. Some of the papers were um, done in um, uh, French vanilla coffee and they still smell nice. That's always fun. More lace and glitter tape bits and pieces and stuff and the middle and the same stuff in here as before journaling cards tied in the center I use wax linen thread and another paper clip there and another this one's got a little blue pull tab and doilies spray paper and fun goodies and stay in right and again this was punched and this is lace so just lace all over the place and paper punching and goodies galore right handmade books should be filled with yummy goodness I mean, that's what's fun about getting handmade books, isn't it? I think so. Oh, I missed this part over here. And that guy, and the last page is lace. And then the last, oh, that is a piece of one of the die cuts. In the back, and again, the lace detail, and again, this is a pocket, but I don't know where I put that tag. <laughs> ah, well, uh, it'll come out, get found at some point. So that is it. Yes, this guy here is going to go on the blue paper clip. I put it on a blue paper clip because I wanted it to, you know, go with the theme. And the little handmade Bible has my stamp on the back of it. So there you go. The link to my book and my Etsy shop will be in the description box below. And if you want to participate in shout out, sharing, join me here by leaving me a comment or check out my haul videos and find out more. So I thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate you and thank you for spending this time with me. Oh my gosh, I was, I was, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Here I was hanging up the phone. I forgot I had these two beautiful dangles also. This is one of them. Now I have to zoom in. For sure. Okay, let me move my book over here so that you can see. 
This bangle is seven and three quarters inches long, and it has this really pretty white um, painted metal um, see-through um, charm on the bottom. These are clear bicone beads and um, crystal spacers, black and these are, um, oh gosh, faceted, black faceted beads and end caps. And then here we have the white pearl, glass pearl beads with the um, spacers and the crystal clear icons. And then we have the beautiful, um, I'm not sure what color to call this. It's a dark pink, I guess, or a um, maroon. It's it's not red and it's not light pink, but and it's also not purple. Um, I, I'm just saying dark pink because I think that's the truest, and it's impossible in my office to show the exact color, which is why I also take photographs and you can see them in my shop. And I just think this is so pretty. My dangles are great for your planners, for books, for keychains, zipper pulls, anything you can clip it onto. It has a lobster claw clasp at the top and all of the findings are all silver. And that's that one now. And my other one, this one is so pretty. It's like, uh, I don't know, another color I can't figure out. I It's like a purple, but you know how there's like baby pink? It's like that light. Well, this is almost like baby purple. It's like a pink purple. It is so pretty. Faceted pink beads with pink. Um, crystal spacers. All the findings are silver. These are light purple glass pearl beads with really fancy bead caps. And again, the crystal spacers. And then these are clear, um, clear crystal beads. They feel like glass. And, um, little end, uh, end little beads and then this charm here at the bottom is the same color whichever color that is with all of these like metal shapes and um, crystals if you can see it see they're kind of doing that and this one is eight and a half inches long and I just think this is so pretty. This is really a really, really, really pretty piece. And it will be for sale in my shop as well. So there's that guy. And here's this guy. And I hope it didn't end up getting blurry because I zoomed in so much. But and back out a little bit now because it's all crazy. So now I can finally say thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm so grateful that you come and spend this time with me. You know I think you are all awesome and um, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.